Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's starting off the day pretty good. They're biting. Uh, today's conditions, as you can see, this lake is very, very smooth today. And uh, it's actually Friday, September 7th. And down here where I'm at, we got about a 50% chance of rain today. There's supposed to be some scattered storms and stuff around, but this morning this water is just absolutely dead calm. It's a little bit humid out, but I think they're going to keep biting. So I'm just going to keep plugging along here and see what we can do. And anyway, guys, thanks for checking back with the channel. And, uh, you know, God willing, I'll pull in a big one today. Let's hope so. But anyway, guys, y'all take care and I'll catch you here in a little bit. It's more like it. That's what we're looking for. Oh, that's a good fish. All right. Yeah, you know, I just started going along this bank, guys. Just, you know, flipping a worm just real close to the bank line. I saw this little guy kind of boil up a little bit. I was like, well, we just take a little four foot flip over there and see what happens. And there we go, that's a pretty good fish. That's a nice one for this morning. Now, let's get that worm out of there. He got it, he got it a little deep. Oh, nice calm morning. Flipping a, that's a uh, Zoom Mag 2 worm. That was a really good worm. And just kind of going along the bank line here, flipping a little bit and, and it pays off. That's a good fish. All right, buddy. All right, off you go, buddy. Let's get some more of those. Another pretty decent one. Oh, spit the worm. Dang it. All right, buddy. There we go. Out here feeding in these shallows on this little island out here. A couple of little stumps sticking up out of the water. It's not very deep or anything, but you can throw that old, that old big old worm out there. They'll find it. Yeah. And, a, and there was a big crane sitting on top of that stump a minute ago, which I'm sure all, everybody already knows that, you know, those birds will point them out pretty good. All the bait fish and everything. That's a good thick little fish right there. All right, guys, well, let's keep going. Let's get some more. They're responding quite well this morning, despite this, um, you know, this weather, the way it's going to be here in a little bit. And I'm hoping to, you know, bag up quite a few and, just move on out of here and but anyway here in just a little bit what i'll do is i'll get done on this spot then i'll we'll move out to another spot and uh kind of fish it a little bit and wanted to show you guys some stuff that you know i'm looking at on my graph and everything just kind of you know show you some little spots of what i look for down in the water but anyway guys let's get some more of these All right, and I was going to say real quick, too, uh, before I get in real trouble, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick retie. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a, a knot that I really like on this uh, on straight floral carving line. This is a, it's a clinch knot. I believe a lot of, it's a San Diego clinch knot, I think. But anyway, it's just a really, really good, strong knot for floral carving line. And uh, but anyway, guys, we'll make a little little bend little u-shape in the top of the line we're going to go over the main line and the tag about six times here okay then we're going to take our tag and go back through the the loop at the bottom 
stick that through there and then you're going to go right through the loop at the top go ahead and cinch the tag up and wet it up a little bit pull it into a knot and then slowly pull it down and pack it all up pull the pull the tag tight pull the line down now you always want to pull a knot real slow on fluoro or to burn it uh, and it'll weaken it fluoro is not exactly round to begin with anyway so it's got a real bad tendency to to square off and it gets weak but anyway there's the hopefully you guys can see that but there's a good good knot for a fluoro line for you know worming and things like that and i usually tie all my uh, nuts and bolts up on my carolina rig with that knot on everything from the swivel to the hook so but anyway guys i just wanted to show you that real quick and i'm hoping to be able to knock out a few more fish real quick shallow it's getting on about close to 8 30 in the morning that sun's already starting to get pretty high there's not as much cloud cover as i thought there was going to be today uh, <laughs> supposed to be some high rain chances today and everything but you know how that usually goes but uh yeah once that sun starts getting up i'm thinking my my bank game over here is going to change drastically so we'll move out and go look at some other stuff yeah i almost got him he's hooked pretty good oh come on oh my gosh holy crap dude this is like a six or seven pounder yeah hang on just a second bro yeah oh my gosh dude this is a huge freaking pass Oh man, hey Dave, I'm gonna have to call you back, bub. I will, I will. <laughs> Bye, Bubba. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you believe that? I'm sitting there talking on the phone to my best friend, one of my best friends, one of my fishing partners, and oh my gosh, look at this fish. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, dreams do come true. I was hoping I could get y'all a big one today. Uh, this is a plenty big fish. And I bet you any amount of money that my scale probably doesn't even work. It probably doesn't have any battery. <laughs> this is definitely at least a seven pounder. I mean, it's every bit of that. It's at least. <laughs> tell you what. Give that old scale a look, see. Oh my gosh, what a fish. Oh man, dude, you just cannot. I mean, that's what it's all about right there, guys. Oh my gosh. Gosh, what a fish. I don't want to keep it out of the water too long, but I bet you, Bunny, the scale won't even come on, so I don't have any way to. Uh, don't have a way to get a weight on it. Uh, crud. Man, ain't that about right. Alright, hold up just a second. Alright guys, well, unfortunately I cannot get the scale to come on, but I mean, that's, that's a 7 pound bass all day. I mean, I'm sure of it. Golly, what a beautiful fish. Thank you so much. Whew. All right, let's get that big old girl back in there. All right, see you later. Woo! Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's get some more of those. All right. All right, well, that was very exciting. So, all right, I got lucky, guys, because... Even though the sun is getting really high this morning, uh, and came over here and started throwing my old Carolina rig over here, and there's a little flat over here. I don't know. She was probably in about six foot of water over here. You know, could see some bait running around and stuff. I was on the phone with one of my buddies, and that's just a miracle I caught it, because you know how that usually goes. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so yeah, there's a... It's a little flat out here. Uh, it's just lined with chunk rock and 
you know, some old roots and things like that. And I mean, this is prime territory for, you know, big bass to hang out in. And just thank God that brush hog came along at the exact right time. So this is just a beautiful fish. I just wish my scale was working, but you know, let's go out there and we're gonna go on and continue. See if we can find some more of those big girls for y'all. Alright guys, that was a very, very nice surprise this morning. You get that big old bass like that. Not even an area I was really even going to kind of describe or anything, but you can kind of see on the graph right here, I, I hope you can kind of see that a little bit, but you can see there's a li little bit of fish off the bottom out here to my right hand side, but what that fish came out of, you can kind of see on the graph right here, you got a little rock transition right here. So these little dark spots right here is kind of casting a shadow and everything where these little, uh, see those little tiny circles right there? Those are little chunks of rocks and stuff that are sitting on this little ledge right here. So, you know, that old Carolina rig was like a really good, uh, it's like a really good thing to put out there. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to another spot real quick and uh kind of show y'all some other things see if i can catch another one real quick and uh you know it's getting on close to 10 o'clock down here and it's it's just really humid and everything and there's no overcast or cloud cover like i thought there was supposed to be this morning but anyway i keep catch you with you here in just a second guys all right guys so i just got through fishing this little area real quick uh unfortunately didn't end up getting but one bite and the fish was a little bit smarter than me and a little bit faster so i didn't i didn't get him unfortunately but uh anyway i was gonna run through here just real quick kind of show you what i was looking at here you know just a little little something to see on the graph here um a little bit of rock and things like that they're <clears throat> holding the you know i've seen a bunch of minnows and stuff in the water and that you know chunk rock and things like that under the water will usually hold a lot of minnows and things a lot of bait fish but i just couldn't didn't connect this time but i was gonna go ahead and see if i could get something on the screen for you here guys okay guys right there we can start to see a big bunch of chunk rock out in here gosh i hope you can see that but anyways all this all these little circular pieces right here this is all big chunks of rock that are laying out here on this little flat you can see them sticking up over in here too just little chunky rocks all littered out in here you kind of turn around and that's only in about you know i'm in nine foot of water so these rocks are actually sitting in probably about 10 to 12 foot of water but anyway that's just a good thing to look for i mean you know it's going to hold bait there's going to be you know there's going to be fish in there unfortunately i couldn't get one for y'all but just that just that one bite but it's almost 10 in the morning and that's kind of what my plan was really was to hopefully just come out and you know catch some good fish real quick you know getting that big one really helped so it's getting up be about a good time to go go home because it's just really humid and nasty out here but anyway guys uh you know that carolina rig it just paid off this morning uh catching another really really solid fish oh there we go here comes some good rock yeah so we can start to see these big chunks right here showing up just all all rock down in there on both sides of me i'm just kind of going right through the through the middle of them right now but you can see all those really chunky rocks just some excellent stuff to fish in and you know i could run something like a square bill or something like that or or slow down with another worm or something but i'm gonna save that for another time uh but anyway guys i hope something i showed you this morning might help you a little bit you know um <laughs> just got so lucky catching that big fish that was just great but, but anyway guys uh thank you so much for checking back in i hope you enjoyed it 
Uh, we're gonna go back out this weekend and and get on some more fish, hopefully, and and uh, get a, get some more film out for you. But anyway, guys, y'all take care in tight lines, and I'm gonna see you on the next one.